Drive left center field. He might have had it. There it goes. It's out of here. Oh, I've spent enough time around elite athletes to recognize the vast differences between us in physical prowess as well as discipline and mental focus. Being witness to the beauty of athletics at the highest level is among my favorite parts of this job. I won't ever be able to get on the field to try to run through a hole in the offensive line or stand in against a major league pitcher. And in truth, I didn't fight rising UFC star Phil Davis. But in an effort to understand how difficult MMA is and to appreciate its power and grace, I recently went down to the Alliance Gym in Chula Vista, the workout home of several MMA pros. At Alliance, I participated in a warm-up, a little lesson on throwing punches, then I got in the octagon. Yep, no one with gray hair. Probably the only one in danger of dying, too. When, when, when you show up for practice, particularly sparring days, Tuesday and Friday, you, you know, you're, ex you're expected to work. You're expected to get in there, get your rounds. They're gonna be hard rounds. When you walk through the doors at Alliance, and you first start to talk to people. It's kind of intimidating just because we have so many pros. We have so many good fighters here. You got world champion, you got undefeated, undefeated, like, you know, soon to be world champion. There's a lot of people in here that are really at a high level. Some guy, uh, some guy gave me the fist, right? Said good luck, it hurt, the fist right here. I wake up every single morning excited to come to practice because I'm gonna get my head taken off and uh, you know there's there's guys in here pushing me and, that, and that's the bottom line that's what you have to have iron sharpens iron. Hey James. Hey uh, James what do I do? It's uh, the cutting edge of mixed martial arts the guys here the coaches here the training partners um, the 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 routine that we got here, man, it's, it's the cream of the crop right now in mixed martial arts, and uh, that's why I, I train here. You're gonna go a couple rounds with Phil Davis. Did you say a couple? Yeah. A couple five minutes rounds. Like five a minute couple five minute rounds? Yeah. You, it's like a round is like. Um, five minutes long. This, okay. Well, we'll see. We'll see how much Phil can take. He's like, what the? Hey, Phil! Over here, Phil! Phil, you're over here, dog. Philly, Phil! What's wrong with this cat right here? What's wrong with him, man? I don't see that. What's wrong with this dude, man? I've been so cool to me today, and now they're trying to set me up. Same, man. I'm just saying, man. I mean, he's I don't have that. Nice shirt. I don't have that one. I don't have that one. I don't have that one. That's off the kids' That's off the kids' collection. <laughs> it's like family, man, and everybody understands. Some days are going to be good, some days are going to be bad. We try to take each other's head off, but then afterwards we're out here just joking around with each other. So it's, it's a great team atmosphere, and just everybody's here. They love what they do, and you know they, we work really, really hard. So that's, that's what it's all about. I thought that was supposed to be hard. That was a warm up, and you're doing it, and you don't feel like you're doing anything. And there were four rounds, I believe. I think I felt like I went through four rounds without getting hit. I was just trying not to get hurt out there with all these guys doing their rounds. I don't even understand what they're talking about. You get more tired, you can't think. I can see this. This was a warm up. That was awesome. Thanks for letting me come. <laughs> just get started. So, number one, that's your one, all right? So, jab. So, the power comes off the back foot. Right. When you go forward for a jab, okay? So, you're gonna kind of springboard yourself out. There you go, there you go. Throw him Good. Himself. Throw him himself. Yeah, you see how you're leading with that chin, though? Oh. Leave with that chin, I'm gonna knock you out. It's almost like you're hugging somebody. That's where I want you to end up. There you go. So, don't leave forward again. Right. Here. There you go. My chin's going. Yeah, your chin's gonna get knocked off with Phil Davis. The fight is fought before you ever get in the cage. The fight is fought in the gym. There you go. Good. As soon as, as, soon as you hit, it bounces back. Oh, there you go. One, two, three, two. Two, three, two. Good. Turn the handle. 
I knew all those years watching boxers hit the mitts, it was harder than it looked. But yeah, I got confirmation of that. Uh, to think that someone could be hitting you back when you're trying because you're you're exhausted, you're you're you feel like you're carrying cement blocks and you're trying to think through the combinations that he's yelling out and no one's punching back at you. I kept waiting for him to, but he didn't, thankfully. The other side of me saying that I know how that it was harder than it looked is you think how easy the professionals make it look. And that's why I like to come do this is how far am I from the elite athlete? And well, I should be embarrassed. We're seeing, we want to try to see what Kevin, Kevin ate for breakfast this morning. Maybe Jack in the box. Maybe he ate a breakfast, Jack. We'll find out. I remember your hands up, chin down. Visualize it. Hands up, chin down. Or is it chin up, hands down? Everybody, everybody have to have a name. I'm Dragon. Dragon? know that that was the force on a couple of those punches and obviously guy totally took it easy but just to know you're in there and you would have no chance whatsoever and the workout to have gone 10 minutes just look I kept moving to stay alive it was like to remind my body that I was still alive because you forget to breathe you're thinking about combinations yeah right just and then it just you're flailing wildly uh, my, my neck hurts I mean I'm not in terrible shape but I, Obviously, there's a, a whole world of difference. I wish that we could all experience this and then like experience a 100 mile an hour fastball or that curveball that just breaks and makes your knees buckle. We talk about these uh, amazing feats, these beautiful things that these athletes do, and they are, it's beautiful. And we talk about them as if they're easy, and it's very humbling. Alliance on three. One, two, three. Alliance! Oh, yeah.